Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. And if you're new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, let y'all know when I drop a new video. And today, I'm actually going to be talking about Cakewalk. And I know a lot of people have been talking about Logic and uh, the 10.5 with the live feature that they actually added on there and the step sequencer, which Cakewalk already had both. So yeah, there's that. And Cakewalk is free right now. So there's that. All right, so let's get into it, man. Let's do a little matrix. Let's see if we can come up with, I'm gonna try to do like a little hip hop style, show you how y'all can just drag and drop things in there and just make a beat out of loops. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so let's actually go into our, um, let's go to media and just find our stuff in here, man. Hip hop sample pack, uh, in order to show you uh, what the matrix can kind of do. So let's go to views in, up here and we're gonna go to matrix view. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's kind of like uh, blocks where you can actually place things. Um, this uh, basically column here is where you can actually tell if it's a MIDI or if it's an audio file. So you can do either audio or MIDI in these files. And uh, I'll kind of show you how that looks. I'm going to collapse that. All right, so let's go to the drum loops and we're going to go to full drum loops. All right, seeing that this 150 here, I want to do this 150. So let's go 150 tempo and um, let's pick some drums. Oh, I like that snare. All right, so let's put this one over here. And, and here is where you would actually place them. So you see it made its own audio row. So these are all audio files uh, now that you can actually use. And you have your mutes and your solos on here. Um, this option here is to stop all the cells from running. So if you had different cells running, so you can actually have like different cells playing. So this row, only one thing can play. Uh, but this column here, I mean, it'll, it'll play anything that's in here if you hit on this. So that's kind of how that works. So you, this measure here is for um, each measure of your actual beat. So it'll actually start playing on basically beat every time you play it. Um, you have an uh, immediate one, which is I'll probably show you because that's how you use it like an NPC. You can do it by beat 1 8 1 16 1 32 whatever one you actually feel comfortable doing it at that time this is your loop mode so you can do loops for all of them once this is on anything that actually has this little sign on it will actually loop this is your latch mode so it'll play on from through the end of it uh, regardless of what you have and um this is the re-trigger mode re-trigger mode will actually start it over from the beginning of the the beat so if you hit it it'll actually go all the way back to the beginning. So that's good when you're using it as an NPC style. And this is from the, the play now. So wherever it is in the cell, it'll actually play instead of starting from the beginning. So that's usually if you have these loops in here like this. So you change it at the bar. It is, it'll catch wherever the beat is supposed to change next. It'll wait and then switch. And that's because of uh, this play now and the loop and the latch. So you hit on the cell itself to stop it from playing. Um, like I said, each column has its own thing. So um, you can't have a MIDI on this audio line. So if you want to do MIDI, you will first need to actually just add an instrument, whatever instrument you want. I'm just going to add the regular basic TSS, TTS on there. I'm going to go up. And let's go into MIDI. All right, so let's do, let's do MIDI. All right, is um, once you actually drag it on here, if you have other things in here that are actually play MIDI, you can switch to that. So now it'll play from this one here. So I made a row for it with the MIDI, but it still will play from this instrument here, this cakewalk uh, instrument. 
So, um, let's grab another one. I'm gonna play that one near. Um, so, like I said, it'll play mel it'll play uh, loops and it'll play melodies. So, let's say you wanted to actually. Um, So now the melody is on the actual keyboard and you can actually see it laid out. And it looks like it's about eight bars. So let's set a loop on here. So it'll loop the whole thing. So this is one way if you wanted to just keep your MIDI, you can do it this way. Um, And this is still playing from the cells. So I can trigger all of them, or I can just have the drums just come in whenever, you know, I can start these drums, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then when it comes back around, you know what I'm saying, you can just start the other drums. Hey. So that's pretty much how you can just drag and drop MIDI and you can drag your loops in here. Um, you can actually even do like one shots. So let's go into one shot. So let's do, let's do some kicks. All right, so as you see, it made its own audio row again. So I'll put it there and um, let's do a snare. All right, so we have a kick and you have a snare. So, boom, kick, and a snare. So I'm gonna take the loops off of these just so they don't keep looping. I'm gonna leave the latch on here. I'm gonna take off this um, global loop mode, all right? And I'm gonna actually do a re-trigger mode. So this is how you can actually use it um, like an MPC so that you can actually um, trigger them um, from like a keyboard or a pad. So I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna MIDI learn. So. All right. And I'm gonna click on um, this one. And I'm gonna MIDI learn this as well. MIDI learn. I click it on the key, click it again and it plays. All right, so you see how it starts at a measure instead of just starting it automatically. So I'm gonna go here and go to immediate. And once I do that, so now I can just uh, play some drums with the, the keys that are actually here on this uh, keyboard. So first thing we wanna do is make sure that these are recording. And then you want to um, actually hit on this. This is how it's actually gonna capture your performance that you're actually doing. So you hit on this. And this one here is gonna link it to your, your transport, your time. So it's on immediate, I'm going to transport. And then all you have to do is just hit record. should have some drums on there. Yeah. So 
So there you go. So that's how you can kind of use it as like an NPC as well. So if you have like a sample in there, you can just put them on these different uh, different note things here or positions inside the matrix. Um, or, me, or you can just use your loops and just drag them in there and have them actually play. <laughs>